So the problem that our team hopes to address is uh, overuse or misuse of antibiotic usage in poultry farms in Kenya, as well as uh, antimicrobial resistance in salmonella in poultry farms in Kenya. Previous studies have shown that about 30% of uh, salmonella uh, from poultry farms are multi-resistant to, to antibiotics. And um, some studies have shown that um, antibiotics used in poultry farms, 75% of the antibiotics are released in the environment and most probably contribute to uh, multi-drug resistance in, in, in bacteria. Yes, to, uh, to tackle this problem, our team will be using bacteriophage or phage. These are bacterial viruses. They're the most abundant biological entities on the planet. Uh, so we want to isolate phages from the environment and try to use it to combat salmonella uh, strains. So the project, we will start by isolating a bunch of salmonella strains in, in Kenya. We will also isolate phages from the natural environment and try to see if we can use those phages to kill uh, those banks here and come up at the end with a product which will contain multiple phages that hopefully will have an impact to reduce the, um, the concentration of salmonella in the poultry farm in Kenya. For me the innovative part is it's actually a very nice collaboration between the very technical bench type of science and the social sciences because when you look at salmonella it often affects chickens and who owns chickens in Africa is usually the women. I mean if you look at two-thirds of uh, livestock, and that's usually chicken, are owned by women globally. So it's a very important issue for women and so I think this is a very nice way of starting from the beginning to figure out would women be interested in phages, how are they actually working with diseases on their, uh, on their farms, and how can we then help them get access to these phages. Um, but these are all things we're going to be looking at and hopefully figuring out how to you know, reduce these barriers and make them an opportunity.